Susan asks, I would like to know how to delete pictures from the screensaver desktop application on her Mac. Wow, that's a very good one. The Mac, let's go in the preferences. You know, you see our desktop picture here. It's one of those default standards that you get with the Mac. If you go to System Preferences from the Apple menu, System Preferences. That's where you can control everything. And you click on the Desktop and Screensaver tab right here. Mm -hmm. And if we look here, we have the desktop side, which is all the Apple images, and we have the Screensaver side, which is what your Screensaver is going to be. Mm -hmm. And you see these slides, and maybe you don't like this one picture because the palm tree looks like it's going to fall off into the ocean or something. I don't know. <laughs> you just hate it for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to get rid of just the palm tree image. Okay. Okay. So we'll just go back so, to the desktop. So here's your main hard drive. And then what you want to do is you want to go into your systems folder. And then under the systems, go to your library. This is a little confusing because there's a library folder inside the system folder. Don't confuse it with Wait. the library folder mm -hmm. that's on your main hard drive. So you want to go to your hard drive, your system, and then your library is yep. the order. And then I have this in list view, so I'm just going to hit S, which is going to take me down to the screensavers folder. That's the screensaver. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, we have all these slide or dot slide saver files. What, what is this? It's a slideshow I've never, screensaver. I've never yeah. seen this before in my life. I've never seen a file like this. <laughs> How, what is this? So, but all what, you see is a file. It's like, I don't see any images. How do I get rid of an image? It's actually a package. So what you do is you want to go to show package contents. Which you, the way you get to that is you need to right click on the file mm -hmm. and then choose it from the menu. Or if you don't have your second button, alt click. Control click. Control click. Control click, yeah. I, we always have second button mouses, so I'm, we're and then go into the contents folder and then into your resources folder and voila we found our beach pictures there's that beach one and there's the one that makes Dee Lee afraid because it's gonna fall on the beach or on the, on the poor little fish and if you want to get rid of it you just delete it oh, move to trash move to trash and now beach oh I have to authenticate because, authenticate. It's, because it's part of the it's part of the actual systems folder. That's right. So, so you can't change anything unless you have, you're, an, you have to use your admin password to make mm -hmm. sure this isn't an accident. You don't delete something the system's going to be using. Mm -hmm. But if I were to authenticate, it would be gone and right. it wouldn't be part of the screensaver anymore. But that's a way that you can ditch one of the images if you want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. What if she wants to put in her own pictures of herself at the beach or okay. maybe at the park, have her own mm -hmm. slideshow kind of going as a screensaver? So you could First, you could add to the you can add files to the pre-made ones. Um, so if you do have things that match the beach theme, or if you want to just I've already got them in iPhoto. Oh, you already have them in iPhoto, <laughs> so you want to do it yourself. If you come over here to the screensaver, and we scroll down towards the bottom here, we have um, now these would be like just these would be your iMovie albums or not iMovie iPhoto, I, I photo albums. Yeah. Um, any. Any album you have in iPhoto will instantly load here, so you don't have to go through it. This is actually picking up pictures that I took myself. Mm -hmm. If you go into iPhoto, you'll see where, what yep. we're talking about. Let me maybe. launch iPhoto for you. iPhoto. So, as you see, I'm watching iPhoto. And, and there's our little playlist, our albums. Know, album. Mm -hmm. And it's got those images in. And you can add those in, and it'll automatically update it in the slideshow and let you go through that. Mm -hmm. Now, the second thing is about, I think she wanted to know about how to change your desktop picture as well from that blue thing. I mean, that's mm -hmm. not bad, but what if I want, you know, that picture of the bricks or something? Right. So, it's very similar to the screensaver setup. You have the default ones in the top here above the line, and then you can choose from fo folders. So, if you have something that's not part of your iPhoto library, you would go to choose folder, you would go to the pictures, you would select a picture. This is another picture Dealey took. And so now, let me pull this down and hide it. Now that picture is part of the That's the my background. desktop picture now. Okay. And also, in the same vein as the screensavers, we go in here and we go to um, Athens Backgrounds. It's the I same. can navigate my whole iPhoto library, mm -hmm. any little playlist that I've got, albums that mm -hmm. i got set up, and find a picture that I want to be the desktop picture. That's the great thing about iLife is it's seamlessly integrated into the OS. Now, I've seen some computers where they actually uh, rotate the images every 30 minutes or every day or something mm -hmm. like that. But I notice that's grayed out. It's at the bottom of this window. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they can see that. I'll, I'll yeah, zoom in a little bit. You see here it says change pictures every 30 minutes. Well, that's grayed out. We can't do that. What it has to be is it actually has to be part of a folder. 
So not just the iPhoto album, album, which means you need to actually have a folder, like go to your choose folder mm -hmm. and find the folder that you've got your collection of pictures that you took. Right. So you might want to export them out of iPhoto if you wanted to be able to cycle through and change every five minutes. Mm -hmm. This might be nice for a public computer where you want to constantly cycle through certain information, mm -hmm. like a, a kind of a kiosk kind of effect as mm -hmm. a screensaver or desktop picture mm -hmm. while people are using a public computer. Right, and then what you do is once it's actually part of a folder, you do change pictures every 30 minutes, every five seconds if you really want it to be fast and coming at you, or every day or every hour. So <laughs> just personal preferences. Susan, I hope that answers your question. That's a good question. A lot of people get confused by that, where to do it, because it's not intuitive, especially mm -hmm. trying to get rid of one. Maybe you like the beach slideshow pictures, but there's one photo you just didn't like because it mm -hmm. looked kind of creepy or something. I don't know. Uh, next question. This comes.